Hey, it's April from the Noble Garden. Last year, I did a big um, video on soil testing and I soil tested a couple of samples of different um, soil that I had gotten that year. This year, I come here, a um, new place. I did get a soil from a place. Um, it looks really good. Um, my video before showed it. It's really, really black and it's really, really soft and fluffy and it looks like really good soil. I still, however, out of curiosity, want to test it because I just love, you know, science and doing this kind of thing. So this video, I'm hoping, will not be too long, but I am going to um, do the soil test and then, of course, show you updates on how all my seedlings are doing. So this is a little kit here. This year, I went ahead and bought the digital so that it takes the guesswork out of it. Last year, if you watched my video, um, it was a little bit harder, so I bought it this way this time. So the green is for pH, the purple is for nitrogen, the blue is for phosphorus, and the orange is for potas uh, potassium. So, and you just have to read the instructions. The green one, what it wants you to do is it wants you to put soil in the bottom of it first. And then it wants you to put the powder in. I'm gonna make sure the same thing for the soil one. Yep. So for each tab, what I'm gonna do is put the color that's appropriate to the lid. tells you to take a cup to five cups I don't know if this is quite perfect or not and you mix the water and you shake it and you want the soil on the bottom the soil on top I did do this for 24 hours um, it says they up to 30 minutes 24 hours so and then what you want to do is put your stomper and you're gonna fill it up to the fourth line and you're gonna shake it shake this one this one is for the pH and it says for only two minutes so I'm gonna shake it let it sit there I'm gonna look, turn around look at the clock right quick so I know when two minutes is up and the rest of them need to sit for 10 minutes All right. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna quickly show you the seedlings and then we'll um, test the pH. So these are the flowers 
It lists some in the back. This is a mixture of cauliflower, broccoli, and the back is spinach. And guys, I think my spinach ceilings are bolting. You see that in the far back? And then this is my thigh, my mint, my oregano, lavender's far up back there. Um, there's some more flowers. Down here are um, some flowers and... Mommy! Here is some flowers, lettuces, kind of stuff. And my favorite that is just new to the group that I'm showing you guys. Look at all them tomato babies. I love me some tomato babies. And then look at the peppers already starting to pop up. That heating mats really helped them. All right, spend the two minutes for the pH. Let's see what the pH says. Whoa. You just stick it in there like that and you hit this button. Seven point five. Whoa. Seven point five isn't too bad. Um, which ironically I have this other little tool. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys. Let me grab it right quick. That little tool. So this little tool right here, I was the first time I ever got anything to kind of try to help me figure out um some stuff is, about the soil. And um it has a little tab on the bottom that you can switch it around. It has the pH, the light, the moisture. And I wanted this for both the pH and the moisture more than anything else. And when I put the pH out there in the garden where the soil's already at, um, it told me seven and a half. So it's pretty cool that that said seven and a half and this said seven and a half. Seven and a half is a little bit on the higher end. It's most definitely alkaline, um, which I might be saying that word wrong, but it's not the worst. I, I would have preferred more like a six and a half to seven, but um, whatever. So I will pause this video. I don't want to sit here and bore you guys talking about all this. And I will come back when it has been 10 minutes so we can test the rest of the stuff. All right, guys, it has been 10 minutes. Let's rapid test the rest of this stuff. So we're going to do the orange and the orange is potassium. And on the top of this, it has different, um, N for nitrogen, P for phosphorus, and K for potassium. So I'm going to hit K for potassium. It is saying surplus. So there's a lot of potassium in this soil. The blue is the phosphorus. And this is adequate, so that's good. And then the last one is nitrogen. Wow, that was good. <coughs> Sufficient. So, I think this might be good soil. I'm super excited, which, um, and when I looked at it, I felt it, I smelt it. I know that sounds weird, but when you're a gardener, you have to use your five senses when it comes to gardening. And I hope I'm right about this soil, but it felt right, it smelled right. It looks amazing. And it's just fluffy. Even after all the rain, like today me and my husband went out there and we finished putting soil in one bed. Even after the rain, it's still soft and fluffy. And um, when I used, this meter for the moisture side of it and we put it in the ground it does hold moisture really well so it just has all these like checkbox qualities so i'm so excited about growing in it and um, i can't wait to share with my results with you guys i do thank you guys for watching my video if you guys are looking for any of these rapid tests i got this one from um amazon um, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I like to Amazon shop a lot. So if you're interested in kind of figuring out what your soul has in it and what it needs more of, this is just an easy way of doing it. I've enjoyed studying it this way. But thank you for watching my videos. Remember, if you like my videos, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.